To start off making your bow, you want to pick the yarn. This is Karen Simply Soft and Country Blue. I'm using size 8, and I'm just doing double pointed needles just for um, the fact that they're small needles. Now this, the cast on all depends on how wide you want your bow to be. I want just a medium width bow. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with 10 stitches across. Now the length of your bow also varies on how big you want the bow to end up. I'm going with like a medium smallish bow. So I'm going to do 10 stitches across for 10 inches long. And I'm going to do my bow in seed stitch. So you just knit one purl one all the way across and alternate on the other rows. And I'm just going to continue that for 10 inches. So once you got your length for your bow, then you're just going to roughly sew the seams together sew it end to end roughly doesn't matter it'll just be the back of our bow so once you sew it together then you're gonna have the two tails from both ends you're just gonna fold it in half then you're gonna take the one side if you have a longer one take that and you're gonna wrap it around the center of your bow Then you can go back to the front of your bow and kind of alter it. Then you take your other ribbon, your other string, wrap it around again too. Then in the back, then you're just going to take those two tails and just put a knot to hold it. And there's your knitted bow. If you want the center piece um, thicker so there's more of a definition, you can just grab an extra piece of yarn and just wrap it or cut your tails longer so you have more to wrap. You can just alter it till you get the bow that you like. I hope you enjoy making these bows. And you can do any size that you like. I would say as wide as you make them, that's the length. So if you do 10 stitches, then do 10 rows, you know, or bigger or less. I think that would be a good one. And these would look perfect on headbands, barrettes, hats, gloves, even at the end of a scarf. I think these would look really nice. So I hope you enjoy these and you try them out. I would love to see pictures if you make some yourself. Thank you for watching.